So I've been doing airsoft for over, well, coming up to 20 years now. And uh, I really enjoy playing in woodland. In fact, most of my time is spent playing in the woodland. And I thought I'd give you guys a tip on how to stop what they call tree blindness. And what is tree blindness? Tree blindness is when somebody quite new to airsoft or maybe even some veteran players they immediately set forth into the woodland and they are unable to pick out shapes silhouettes sh little bits of shininess in the background of the woodland I'm going to give you my tips on how to spot people in the woodland so first things first is we're going to stop and we're just going to listen to the sounds that the woodland makes. So what sounds you may be able to hear is the rustling of the leaves up in the canopy as they catch the wind and knock against each other. You'll hear little critters scuttering around the foliage on the floor. You'll hear bird song. And let me tell you, these are all completely different sounds to the sound of somebody walking. So what I recommend at the start of the game in Woodland is to just get yourself into a little spot, sit down and familiarise yourself with the sounds of this woodland. You hear the roar of the leaves now. They make a completely different sound to a foot dragging over leaves. To some people it might sound similar, but trust me, they are completely different. There's as big a giveaway as a twig snapping. So I've just been sat here for a little while now and I've just been watching how the woodland moves. What do you mean the woodland moves? Well as the little branches and trees catch the wind, they all move in a fairly similar way. So if I just pan it over, okay you see the very light green leaves now, how they sway with the wind. They just catch the wind and they, they do a fl sort of fluttering motion and this fluttering motion is completely different to a human being even stalking through the forest. You'll see that there's little quivers in the way that the leaves catch the wind and they tend to sigh up and down, up and down, almost as if it's breathing. While humans move completely differently in the, in the forest but it's easy to lose people in the background when you're not familiar with how the way small trees and leaves and bushes move while catching little bits of wind. Even the tree sways almost imperceptibly. Secondly is to look foreground, background, midground. Just look, just look familiarize yourself with the way that the birds move they tend to move in diagonals tend to uh, we've got squirrels moving around now both of these animals will tend to make themselves pause for wind tend to make themselves scarce when they see other people around I've been sat here for a while now so they are starting to come close, though whether they pick up my, the sound of me recording is something else. But you'll find that the birds tend to shut up when there's people around. And uh, squirrels tend to run up the trees. So this is a good example. Of so you see the wind's picking up now and it's blowing the top to the canopy. And look at all this movement. Look at all this movement now, look at all the leaves falling down. See how they move almost always in a diagonal fashion. 
I don't know whether there's some sort of nature trick to it but they don't move in the same way that humans move so they are tumbling down but tend unless they're very heavy they come down with twigs as attached they tend to move in a diagonal fashion humans don't make that unless they're standing up from crouch or prone or they're, they're going down to prone or crouch so at the moment my eyes are pretty well attuned to this woodland now and I can see birds moving in the background quite far off so if my eyes are picking up such small creatures 50 meters away imagine how easy it is to spot a human being whether they're wearing cam camo or not there we go I can see two people walking in the background there 50 meters away probably maybe a bit more than 50 meters actually I wonder if you can spot them I'm not going to zoom in for privacy's sake. And then there's another two at the top. And they move they move completely differently to everything else in the forest. It doesn't help that they're not wearing camouflage clothing, but I could, I could still spot them. They're well out of airsoft range. Maybe a sniper could take them from here, but maybe not. So, that's two things. To listen to the sounds the forest makes or the woodland makes and familiarize yourself with the way the things that live here move because we as now urban creatures we've sort of forgot how to move to stalk through this woodland and it makes our job as airsofters much easier because people are unable to move without being seen or at least minimizing the chances of being seen on top of that one of your worst enemies when moving is sticks that's a pretty big stick that's not going to snap under the weight that one however that one right there that one might let's just try it out <clears throat> yes, immediately snapped under pressure. Animals don't make that sound. They're not generally not heavy enough. Dogs might, but dogs not going to be in a game area. And I'm going. To, I'll just pick this up as well as you've seen. What I'm going to do is show you the difference in how you can walk. Look, there's two other people down there. Don't know if you catch them in the background there. Just little flashes of grey, little flashes of the clothing in between the trees. And I could just pick them out as they're moving through the trees right to left. And they're going to end up on a little path and they're going to come straight up next to me. Anyway, back to the stick. So the stick. What happens when you make noise moving through the woodland with sticks is that you tend to snap it. Okay? But... And hear me out. So this one's do, 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 this one's pretty dry. The outside's wet. But this is the key. If you slowly put weight on it, slowly. Oh, <laughs> that was too dry. Okay, let's try again. Slowly put weight on it. So then I'm putting about roughly the equivalent weight of a single footstep on that. You see, it's bent. It won't snap. However. If you shot what we call shock load it, it will snap. Let's try it with another one. I kind of mess that one up. So, the forest is full of these little twigs, full of them, and these will give you away. Again, look, I'm going to slowly load the, the weight on it. Let's bend. Let's bend. Let's bend. And that's fine. It can take that. Shock load it, snaps. How do you walk to minimise that? So, normal walk. Okay, that one didn't snap too well. Okay, normal walk on this big one. Snapped, okay. Normal walk on this one. Yeah, see how I'm putting my, this part of my foot down, the pad. So the ball of your big toe, all the way across to your, your little toe. Putting that down first. 
well that's how you get caught that's how you start snapping things so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk over this patch of roughness and I'll show you how quietly you can move I ruined it with that last one. I was picking my spot to sit down. Well, yeah, that's the idea. So what I do, what I tend to do, is go heel and slowly load that weight on the ground. Heel, toe, heel, toe. If, so, if I see a big stick like that, and I want to walk across it, Put my foot parallel with the stick just in case I miss it and hit it. So it'll, it'll be much happier with my weight across it. I mean in parallel with it like that. Than it would be with me with my foot across it like that. Because I'm spreading the weight over the over the branch of the stick. Let's have a look for a this one looks good. So I'm just gonna walk over this using the heel toe. I'll walk over it normally. snapped it. So that's another way not to get caught. On the flip side of what I was saying earlier about stopping, listening, looking and sort of being immersed in your environment, that helps you not get seen as well. So if you're not making sudden motions and you're keeping your motions similar to the stuff around you, so moving when the tree moves only slightly, moving when the branches and leaves move only slightly, you're more or less, well, you can become invisible doing that, unless somebody's really, really got their eye in. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you all. Um, I'm going to enjoy a nice little walk around the woods. Take it easy. <laughs>